Hello everyone, welcome back to Commerce Classes Standard 12. In our last video, we completed first step of process of staffing that was recruitment. Here we are going to start second step of process of staffing that is selection process. So let's understand the meaning of selection and let's continue with selection process. That is second step of process of staffing. It's all about having the right people with right abilities in the right place at the right time. So selection means to select the proper candidate from the applications received. The selection process varies from organization to organization on the basis of its size, type of organization and kind of employees required. We already have studied the meaning of selection. Selection is the process of finding the most suitable hands for available vacancies and who are not fit are eliminated. That means those who are suitable for the vacancies will be given the job and others will be eliminated. So the right person will be selected for the right post seeing their abilities. Let's be more clear about selection. Selection is the process of screening of job applicants to ensure that the most appropriate candidates are hired. That means selection is to make sure that the candidates picked up or selected are the best candidate for the post. Then selection is the process of making a higher or no higher decision regarding each applicant for a job. That means those all who have applied for a job out of them, some will be hired and some will not be hired. After selection, it is being informed to candidates whether they are hired or not. Then, selection is a series of steps from initial applicant screening to final hiring of the new employee. That means, selection starts with receiving of application and then it is screened. That means, it is properly verified or checked that whether the candidate is suitable for the job or not and then final hiring is done. So, such selection procedure is best for the top managerial positions while selection procedure for non-managerial staff is short and simple. Let's understand the process of selection and be more clear about selection. Here we have the steps of process of selection. We have nine steps to follow. First, welcoming and primary meeting. Second, receiving and screening of applications. Third, taking necessary tests. Fourth, personal interview. Fifth, checking references. Sixth, preliminary selection. Seventh, medical examination. Eighth, appointment letter ninth induction into organization and allotment of work let's understand all in detail first step is welcoming and primary meeting the object of pre preliminary interview is to ensure whether the applicant is physically and mentally fit for the job during preliminary interview Candidates are asked questions related to their experience, education, taste, age, etc. Those candidates who are successful in the preliminary interview are asked to fill the blank application form. So, in the primary meeting, candidate is welcomed and he is asked about his knowledge, skills and working capability. And if he is found eligible, he will be asked to apply for the job. The main objective at this stage is to prevent the improper or unsuitable candidate from applying in the initial stage. As this saves the time of the recruitment officer and the process of selection becomes simple. Second step is receiving and screening of application. Here, the interviewer gets the information about the candidate's educational qualification, experience, knowledge and skills of candidate. 
The candidate along with application also sends different documents of his qualifications like his experience, certificate, mark sheets and etc. If any information is found incomplete or wrong, then it is been rejected after screening. Screening means after verifying or checking the results, mark sheets. If anything is found incomplete, it is rejected. So the second step is after receiving the application, it is to be screened. That means it is to be checked and verified. So after screening of applications, if the application is accepted, third step is selection test. That means some necessary tests are taken whose applications are accepted. So let's read it. A selection test is used to measure a candidate's behavior, performance or attitude. So such tests are taken to know about candidate more like their behavior, performance or attitude. It is standardized in order to ensure uniform assessment. It is same for all so that we can know about each and every candidate so it is uniform manner so these are some necessary tests which are taken once the application is accepted intelligence test to know the iq level aptitude test to know the interest for the specific work of the candidate and then personality test to know the nature of candidate projective test the work assigned particular work that is assigned whether he is capable of doing that project or not that test is taken then interest test is taken to know the interest or a particular area of work in which the candidate is interested and last preference test is taken so all these tests are taken along with these tests trade test and psychological test is also taken Trade test is the test which decides whether the candidate has the necessary skill to perform the expected job or not. And psychological test is taken to know about the nature, self-confidence, attitude and habits of the candidate. So all necessary tests are taken. After taking some necessary test, next step is interview personal interview or interview for selection it is a one-to-one -one interaction between the interviewer and the potential candidate it is used to find whether the candidate is best suited for required job or not but such interviews consume time and money both moreover the competencies of the candidate cannot be judged such interviews may be biased at times such interviews should be conducted properly no distractions should be there in room. There should be an honest communication between candidate and interviewer. That means after conducting some necessary test, candidates who have succeed in about test will be called for personal interview and this is one to one interaction between the interviewer and the potential candidate. In this way assessment can be made without any bias. So, for taking an interview, a committee is formed for the selection of candidates. Different experts and managers of various fields are called to conduct the interview. Work-related questions are asked. Proper care is taken that there is no deviation from the topic. At this stage, the terms and conditions of the job can be made clear. Proper care should be taken that there is no bias or partiality while taking interview. Communication should be fair between candidate and interviewer. So after taking interview, candidate's reference is checked. Let's read it. Candidates are required to give the names of two or three references in their application forms. Information may be collected from previous employer or from co-workers. For this, telephone call or email is used. So, candidate mentioned two three names in the application about the present and the past employers and with the help of that, management gets the correct idea of employee. 
to get the right opinion about an employee the information collected should be free from bias and the opinion of the reference given by the candidates helps in taking right decisions checking the references can get the proper knowledge about the candidates experience skills aptitudes and capabilities sixth point is preliminary selection so after checking the references if the references collected are positive for the candidate then the list of candidate is prepared by the committee and such list is prepared by the committee with more numbers of candidate than candidates actually required and from that list as per the merit candidates are selected and some of them are not selected that's why it is called preliminary selection as all the candidates in the list are not selected seventh step is medical examination certain job requires physical qualities like clear vision high stamina clear tone of voice etc a medical examination reveals whether the candidate possesses these qualities so the list which is prepared in preliminary selection out of that list the candidates that are selected and are required for the job they are sent to hospital or a doctor for medical checkup and the main objective of this medical examination is to know whether the candidate is suffering from any serious illness or not and if they are suffering from any serious illness they will be rejected so management has to make sure that whether the candidate selected is physically fit or not for the job after medical examination if they are found fit the final selection is done and appointment letter is given to the selected candidate in this letter information regarding their job the nature of work their designation rights and responsibilities their salary remuneration and other financial and non financial details are given ninth and the last point that is induction into organization and allotment of work in today's modern organizations after giving the appointment letter and before assigning the duties employees are given information regarding the policies of the organization and organization environment their superior their colleagues and subordinates after this duties are allotted to candidates so here we have completed process of selection nine steps go through the topic and revise it thoroughly thank you